Previously on The Bill. Bail Mr. Gregory until 3 o'clock tomorrow. Well, let him run. See where he sprints to. I've got a theory that Napier, Gregory's solicitor, is in on it with him. I'll tell you what's happened. Let's get to the slip. The sooner we get her out of here, the better. Stop panicking. Louis should be here any minute. We won't have to get our hands dirty. But what if... Do you want me to deal with this or don't you? Oh, was Shut that... up. Just show me where she is. Well, Greg, I'm rushing you for abduction. You don't have to say anything, but it might be defensive. You're not meant to... Oh! He's jumped! He's jumped! Get outside! Ah. You, you He's gone out the window! I saw Levener doing a bomb burst. All Gregory's known associates, links, possible locations. They'll turn him up sooner or later. Yeah. Thanks, Jack. No, no. You should get home. Do you think we'll ever prove that you killed Angel? I don't know. We could find more evidence. We can't find him, Jack. Let alone more evidence. And I hardly think he's out there collating it for us. He doesn't leave loose ends. Well, you released him. I'm more than aware of that. Thanks. And I'm equally aware of your views on it. But my options were somewhat limited as a result of Mickey's intervention. I wasn't all Mickey's fault. I'm sorry, Jack. But you've got a blind spot where Mickey's concerned. Yeah, I took a risk in releasing Gregory. But if Mickey hadn't fouled things up... Well, I admit he can be impulsive. Impulsive? Yeah, but his heart's in the right place. I don't care, Jack. Fact is, he's ruined an incredibly delicate and carefully planned operation. He acted purely as he saw fit. No. He acted with a total lack of regard for and trust in his fellow officers. Right. Must be lovely calling around at this time in the morning. I'm going round before she goes to work. Mm. Very nice. Look, the thing with Marie was a mistake, a one-off. She knows it won't happen again. Oh, yeah? It's true. Besides, I won't see her after today. How okay. come? Well, I've been advised to reduce contact now that the investigation into her daughter's death has been wrapped up. You've had enough contact anyway, haven't you? That'd be funny. So it's only excitement your job's on the line. Now that you're not an FLO anymore. Yes. I'll tell you what, mate. If you want excitement, wait till June comes back. Then you can have the two of them. I don't think so. I'll tell you what, though. If you did have the two... Des, you haven't seen Robbie, have you? She hasn't turned up for work yet. Uh, it must have been all the excitement of yesterday, Mum. She's probably at home deciding who she wants to play in a movie. <laughs> when I thought Julia. Very funny. Are you all right? Can you hear me? Do you speak English? But you understand a little bit, yeah? 
Robbie. My name is Robbie. Robbie. What's your name? Abio. Abio. It's going to be okay. I'm with the police. My friend is a police officer. Mickey, I knew you'd come. I'm sorry. Oh, well, well, that was fun, wasn't it, eh? Search him. You don't give up easy, do you? No, but there's still people like you out, don't. Right, Louis. We need a van. And you need to find his car and shift it. Done. Get the kid. We'll load her first, then we'll come back for the others. The sooner we get this litter cleared up, the better. What? All three? Yeah. What do you think? We're going to send them home with a few balloons and a party bag each? Come on. I don't let you, mate. It's over. They'll have this place demanding now, I promise you. you wish. <laughs> 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 I can't believe the super left that Gregory gone. Well, apparently he didn't have much choice. I would like to be in Mickey's shoes right now. Move back. Please move back, will you? Right away. Just in case. Move back out of the way. Keep back. The pickup must have slammed on when them kids come. He's still got a pulse. Right. You better take a look at this. At least he's still alive. Well, you better check again. Still no sign of Robbie. Tony said you didn't come back to the flat last night. Take it, you've tried him all that. Yep, and left a message. I'll give it another half an hour and then I'll contact the next of kin. Do you think it could be the after effects of yesterday? Robbie, with post traumatic shock, heaven forbid. If you ask me, she should never have been put in such a high risk operation. Oi! Nobody did ask you. The super knows what he's doing, and Robbie was never put at any risk. Will somebody answer this sodding phone? Hello. It's Robbie's. Don't move, sir. Whatever you do, please keep still. I want to get out. No, no, listen, sir. The ambulance is on its way and the fire brigade. Can you tell us your name, please, mate? Peter. Peter. Okay, listen, Peter, I need you to try and sit still for me, okay? <coughs> Peter, can you tell me what your last name is? Well, Wallace. Peter Wallace. Okay, listen, Peter. You're doing really, really well, okay? Just try and keep as still as you can for me. My wife. Your wife? Right. Is your wife at home or at work? She's... She's dead. Um... Look, you've got to keep him talking. Yeah, I know, Des. Listen, listen, Peter. I need you to open your eyes for me, OK? Can you open your eyes and keep talking? Just try and keep talking to me. Thirsty. Listen, I'm really get... thirsty. OK, listen, we can't get you a drink right now, but the paramedics are on the way and they're going to be here any minute. No. No. No, listen, they're, they're going to be here any minute to help you and they're going to get you out of here. Priest. You want a priest? Please. Hi, oh, Ben. How's it going? Uh, That's cool. Is your mum in? The washing machine's broken. Oh. Well, can I come in or do I need a password? Thank you. Bad father, very bad. Yeah, we're at Gadsden Hill Road. Yeah, well, you won't miss us, will you? Okay, thanks very much. He had to stop him when the kids are out front. He's asked for the police for absolution. He's still alive. Dad, where's the ambulance? He's coming. Oh, my. Please. Please forgive me, Father. I have sinned. Mate, I'm not a priest, you know. Wife. She's dead. Look, if 
it starts, I'm going to scream. Um. I don't believe it. I check the plug, check the fuse. That's infuriating. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anything else? <laughs> no, that was humiliating enough. But thanks. It's okay. I, I just wanted. <sighs> After you. No, no, no. Be uh, The SIO. Uh, sorry, that's the senior investigating officer wants me to reduce duties here. But that means um, no more home visits. This isn't because of... Oh, no. Because I thought we had that sorted, you know, we were all right with it. It is. We are. I mean, this has nothing to do with what happened between us. This is merely standard procedure. Um, with the investigation over and somebody in custody pleading guilty to murder, my job here is... Um, we can still talk on the phone. Yeah, okay. Is Ben still up in school? Mm, I think so. I wanted him to move after everything that's happened, but... Couldn't have been easy being in the same school, Sonia taught her. Must have come in for a bit of stick. Yeah, I know. But, his choice. Didn't want to move. Is there anything else you need to know before I go? No, I don't think so. Well, if you think of anything, please feel free to call. I am on the end of the phone. Yeah, okay. But head off then. Jim. Thanks for everything. Okay. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord and his love and mercy help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord who free you from sin save okay. you from the danger. It's yours. Yeah. He killed his wife then? So he says, yeah. He signed it? Sign it? Well, I'm just asking. See, I'm assigned as a witness. Can I see? Is he expected okay. to live? Cold. Straight through him. Strangled? When? It says the body's still in the house. Oh, lovely. He kept passing out, you know. Under what floor? Living room. Living room. Are you sure? What, you think he was pulling me leg? Well, I don't know, Gary. He thought you were a priest, so he could be hallucinated. Well, he's only over there, isn't he? So why don't you go and ask him yourself, eh? Sad, Charlie. Look, you've just seen the state of him and you'd understand why, all right? All right, all right. Hey, Ben. Do you mind if I have a look? Mum said I could. She did. Well, she let you copy all of these? Well, just for my friends. Must have a lot of friends. How much are you selling them for? Look, Ben, I don't think anybody minds the odd copy here or there, but the minute you start selling them... You won't tell my mum, will you? No. As long as you promise to knock it on the head, OK? Good. How's it going at school now? All right. They're still talking about your sister? Not really. Look, Ben, I won't be seeing you and your mum as much anymore. Boss's orders. But I want you to know that I'm on the end of the phone if you need me. Look after her, won't you?
He's called Peter Wallace. That obviously no answer from the wife, or indeed anybody else at home for that matter. But the uniform have found and spoken to his mother. So what have they told her? Only about the accident. Right, what do we know? Not a lot. Well, what we do know is that he's 45 years old, he's the manager of a small office supplies company, his wife's Sarah, they live in Barden Avenue, no children, no form, nothing. Right, well let's start with the mother. But don't let on until you know for sure that the wife is missing. See Mickey anywhere? Nope. She'll be here by now. Did you get a good look at the kids? No. They were only eight or nine. Even if we had a cold them, we couldn't have done anything with them. Fancy something to eat? Eat? Yeah, I'm starving. No, not for me. Could do with a nice kebab. That's sick, that. Well, look, there's two ways of dealing with it. Laugh or cry. I know which one I prefer. Don't anything ever freak you out? I don't think so. Um, I was just wondering if, um... Oh, it's okay, that's Jen. Oh, sorry. Gary, would you move out the way you play it, eh? Come on. Oh, hi, Gemma. Hiya. Listen, Robbie hasn't turned up at work and Tony's had to go out, but he's left his keys. Could you swing by the flat? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Jack? Oh, sorry, sir. It's an emergency. It's Robbie and Mickey. I'm not quite sure what happened, but you've got to listen to this. Governor, uh, listen, it's Mickey. Uh, I'm with Robbie now. It's just gone four o'clock in the morning. We've been putting together bits and pieces of what she's overheard. I've got a theory that Napier, Gregory Solicitor, is in on it with him. So I'm going to go to his house, give us a call, OK? Right, I'm going to get down there. He's gone too far this time. No, Jack. I want Gregory in one piece. And if he's hurt, Mickey, you're far too personally involved in this already. I'm going to trace on Mickey's phone and Robbie's. Mrs. Wallace? Yes. Hello. DC Drummond and DS McAllister, Sun Hill. Hi. Um, any news from your son? They've started to operate. Right. Um, is it all right to have a word? Look, it's nothing to worry about, Mrs. Wallace. Do, do take a seat over here. It's just that we're having a little difficulty contacting Sarah, your, um, your daughter-in-law. I've been trying to ring her. Any idea where she might be? Well, she's normally at home. She got a mobile? Uh, yeah, I think so, but I don't have the number with me. Work number? No, she works from home. That's why I don't understand why she's not there. I can't think where she can be. Well, when did you last see her? Uh, two, maybe three days ago. Well, she didn't mention going away or spending time with friends? No. It's awful to think she still doesn't know about Peter. We've got to find her. You, um... You wouldn't uh, happen to have a spare set of keys to their house, would you? No, I know, but there's a... There's no sign of Mickey's car. No of his bikes here, though, and uniform have gone to the front door. Oh! Well, there's no reply from the front door, so we're all heading off on the back, OK? Adam. Adam. Come on. Adam. What? When I went to your house, all Look, I... If you're still worried about thinking I might be involved, forget it. What's the matter now? Oh, come on, Ken. Everyone else is hunting for Mickey and Robbie, and what are we stuck with? Well, this must have been where she worked. What are you doing? Smelling. What? Well, if she's been dead a few days, or there's a strong smell of carpet cleaner, you know, disinfectant, whatever. Very nice, Marple. Mr. Napier? Mr. Napier? Oh, what? What do you think? Everyone should become a solicitor. Sounds all right for themselves, don't they? Certainly pays to be Gregory's solicitor. Let's try upstairs. Right. Yeah, I 
don't think it's been relayed. Unless, of course, he's a carpet fitter. Oh, I found a toenail. Um, Ken. What? Help! Help! Stop! Somebody help me, please! Okay, okay. Somebody it's help the police! We are the police. We're the police. What? Look, I'm uh, DC Ken Drummond from Sun Hill. This is DS Debbie McAllister. Please. Then what the hell are you doing in my house? Your house? Oh, hold on, hold on. We thought, well, we understood that Peter Wallace lived here. Yeah, he does. So who are you? I'm his wife. Oh, something's happened here. If they've taken Mickey and Robbie, what are the logistics of that? A van to get them out of here? One way or another, there must have been a lot of activity. Yeah, well, I'll get on to the neighbours. I think they must have had help. I can't see Gregory and Napier handling this on their own. Adam. Do you think this is where they kept Angel? Possibly. Hardly Mr. Napier's style. I think we best get a crime scene examiner down there. We'll get you to St. Hughes as soon as we can. Thank you. Well, at least I wasn't sniffing the carpet. Hey, don't knock it till you tried it. All right. Maybe there's another wife. Well, you'll be the expert on that one, Ken. Thank you. They're in the front office, um, Marie, somebody, and a kid. Ben? Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Oh, it's all over. I promise you're still bang at it, aren't you, mate? Hey, what's that? Tell me. Oh, no, it was just you today, but... Sarge? Yeah. Right, Gemma. Right, Sarge. Oh, thanks anyway, Gemma, but it looks like Robbie's with Mickey. I mean, he's missing as well. Mickey is since when? I'm going to the briefing room. Thanks, Jim. I'm really sorry to bother you. Hey, Ben, what happened? He won't say. Well, I don't understand, sir, unless I've missed something, but Gregory and Napier found Mickey and Robbie in Napier's house. I mean, surely that's a gift. A police officer breaking into a solicitor's house. Why isn't Gregory at the front office threatening to sue the life out of us? You're right. Well, we think... We found two small bedrooms at the top of the house. Forensics are checking it. It could be where they kept the little girl, Angel. Mickey and Robbie must have found something so incriminating that Gregory and Napier had no choice. But if it's that bad, then... Gregory can't possibly afford to have them released. He's already killed once to cover his tracks. Jack? Uh, well, we haven't been able to pick up a signal from Mickey's phone. Whether he switched it off or not, we just don't know. And there's still no sign of Mickey's car. I've got all units looking for it. We're also looking for a van. One of the neighbours reported a blue van leaving Napier's house very early this morning. We've got a partial index on that, and we're hoping to match that to a vehicle registered to any of Gregory's companies. A lot of this we can pass on to SO7, but they're going to take some time to catch up. So until they do... Adam O'Cara. Yes. Preliminary forensics has found a number of child's fingerprints in the attic bedroom of Napier's house. Angel. Possibly. But there's more than one set. So I think that answers your question, Sheila. All this time, Napier's been keeping another child. Mickey and Robbie must have found her. That's it, Louis. I heard a noise at the front door and... 
few minutes later, Ben comes in, runs up the stairs, goes straight into his bedroom, and I don't think anything's wrong until I go in there later. OK. Right on her own doorstep. Ben, is this some sort of bust up at school? He says it isn't, but... Well, after all the rubbish that was printed about his sister, who knows what gets said in the playground? Kids can be really cruel. Is that it, Ben? Or some of the boys been picking on you because of your sister? Has this got anything to do with the kids I saw outside your house? Kids? What kids? You didn't tell me about this, Ben. What's been going on? Nothing. Marie, I'm, ugh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Well, you won't be a second, Ben. Look, I'm sorry. I don't mean to upset you, but... He won't say it in front of me, will he? No. We're sorry to trouble you, Mrs. Wallace. Did you find Sarah? Yes, she's speaking with one of the nurses now. Oh, thank goodness she's here. Your, um, your son and Sarah, they've been married for a long time, have they? Oh, about ten years, I think. Was your son married before that? Yes. Once, twice? Once? Why? Well, we were hoping that you might be able to help us find his ex-wife. Well, she went back to Singapore. I assume she's still there. How's Peter? Mm, they say he's doing fine. Better than they dared hope and that he's amazingly strong. <laughs> oh, he'll make it. I know he'll make it, if anyone can. Mrs Wallace. Sarah, these officers are trying to get in touch with Kanita. Kanita? Kanita. Peter met her when he was working in Singapore. She never really settled down over here. Why not? Everything. Homesick, too cold, the, the food, the language. Peter did his best, but she hardly ever went out. Really? This wouldn't have anything to do with copied CDs, would it? What happened? They took them. Who? Ben. I'm not going to eat you. And your mother is not going to kill you. But I do need to know what's going on, so... Come on. They're selling them. Selling them? Yeah. I only made a few to start with. You know, for friends. I tried to stop. But then some of the boys said if I didn't, they... Gotcha. I think I know a way we can sort this. How good you're acting? Have you got a contact address or a number for Kanita? No, I'm sorry. Why do you need to find her? That's just routine inquiries. Does um, Peter ever hear from her? Not that I'm aware. Does she have any friends that we can speak to? Well, none. Sorry, it was before my time. Right. How did you meet your husband? I was his PA. And how long did you work with him for? About 18 months. And this was when he was still married to Kanita? Yeah, but nothing actually happened until after his divorce. Do you have the name of the solicitor who handled Peter's divorce? Sorry, I'm quite clear. Well, surely there must have been some correspondence or stuff to pass on to her. After they split up, Peter moved. Anything like that would have gone to their old address. Which was? Carswell Lane. 57 Carswell Lane. Right. That's it. And, um, this was before you and Peter got together, yeah? Yeah, I've never even seen Carswell Lane. Right. Well, they don't know anything. I've only lived there about a year. Well, now one's in at 59. Right. Well, hello, sweetheart. Is your mum and dad in? I'm saying in English, so I have to call my dad. Dad, I'm here! Hello, yes. Can I have it? Oh, uh, yes. Hello. I'm uh, DC Drummond. This is D.S. McAllister from Sun Hill. Uh, when we come in? Sorry, my folks are having party at the moment. Would you mind telling me what it is about? Do you live here? I don't live here, no. My parents do. 
Well, we're investigating a matter concerning somebody who lived here about ten years ago. Of course, it doesn't concern anybody. Okay. okay. Well, you better come in. Right, well, these are my parents, and these are all my uncles and cousins from Gdansk. Uh, pleased to meet you. Hello. I'm afraid they don't speak very much English. Oh, well, that's okay. No problem. Thank you for having us. Um, can they remember the people they bought the house from? Czy pamiętacie ludzie, którzy kupili ten dom? To znaczy, kto to był? Jak on się nazywa? Wallis. His name was Wallis. 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 Czy to jest jego żona kiedykolwiek? To znaczy, był z kobietą tutaj, tak? Yes, yeah, he remembers. Well, do they have a contact address or a number or anything? Hang on, do you have a contact address? No, no, no. We're investigating the disappearance of Mrs. Wallace, yes. So we need to get a forensic team down here to search the house. Search the house? What? You mean, after all this time? It's amazing what they can find. Find? Hang on. You mean she's dead and her body might be still here? Oni uważają, że jej ciało jest gdzieś tutaj schowane. To znaczy, że po prostu ona została za pięć i jest ciała schowane. Ja też nie rozumiem, no ci pieli, no nie mam pojęcia co. Nie, że jest po prostu. 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 Where did these come from? Oh, well, these look like copies to me. Are you selling them? They're yours. Come here. Who's are they then? Come on. What's your name? Ben. Ben what? Ben Graham. These yours? Dunno. I said, are these yours? Might be. They his? Yeah. yeah. Grasses. Shut it. You sure? Yeah. Because this is a very serious offence. And if I find out oh. any of you are involved. What's this? Ben, I think you better stay with me. The rest of you, hop it. Ben Graham, I'm arresting you on suspicion of theft. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something which you. <laughs> hey, what was this? I don't know, maybe. Well, I fell for it, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, time's getting on. Put your hand. Look, you don't have to go to this trouble. Oh, no, really. Look, this is our house. You don't have a warrant. And we want to know what's under the floor. I know, but if you could just wait. Well, what are you going to do? Arrest us all? I need a team of forensic experts to take a look first before you destroy all the evidence. No, we won't. It will just take five minutes. If there's nothing under there, then fine. But obviously, if there is. Again? Obviously, Jess. Thanks, Jim. Any time. It's, it's just that, well, you know, having lost Sonia, it, it kind of makes Ben, you know, doubly precious. And half the time, I can't bear to let him out of my sight, not even for a second. And then I go the other way. I think I'm smothering him and let him do whatever he wants. And God, I seem to be making a complete mess of things. No. Yes. Don't be too hard on yourself. You are a fantastic mother and a very special person. I'm going to miss you. It's ironic, isn't it? Hmm? We get close when we're not supposed to, and now there's nothing in the way, and I've got to settle for a phone call. Say that again? Na pewno? Na pewno. Nie ma gadania. Na pewno. Na pewno. His wife definitely wasn't Oriental or Asian or anything like that. She was English. Well, can he describe her? Hang on. They're through. No. No, 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 no. No. Daj mi laterkę. What's he saying? He needs a torch. Zobacz. 
Znalazłem płyty chodnikowe. He says he's found some paving stones. Ja teraz przesunę. He says he's moving them. Znalazłem ubranie damskie. He's found some women's clothes. Ojej! Znalazłem głowę. He says he's found a skull. Get him out. No. Hey, you mustn't worry, girls. I'm not going to hurt you. All you got to do is promise not to tell anybody anything, and then I can just let you go. <laughs> Wrong. Yeah. What's the matter? Oh, I see. It's all right when I've got to do all the dirty work, isn't it? But as soon as it's your turn to be a little bit more hands-on... Here. Lock them up. Go on, Louis. Get a move on. She's obviously been to Carswell Lane before. Why lie? Well, look, it's Cash 22 for her, isn't it? I mean, if her husband survives, they've both got a lot of explaining to do. But if he dies, well, then she'll get away with murder. Tricky one, eh? Yeah, I know what I'd do. I'd be up there now, unplugging the life support machine. <laughs> No, it's too tight. It's too tight. They're not going to call. They're not going to call. The phone. I need the phone. The phone, sweetheart. I need... I... They're not going to kill us, are they? No. No, they're not. They're going to keep us locked up long enough so they can leave the country. I need the phone. I need the phone. Listen, to, listen I need the phone. Um, she ain't getting it. I need... I need... Uh, She's, uh, she don't understand. She's not in English. Uh, uh, ring, ring. The, what I put in your pocket. Ring, ring. The f that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. That's it. Good girl, good girl. Okay, uh, no, you have to do it for me. Look, I'm too tired. Uh, she's, like, she's not English. She's uh, not English. Well, what name? What? Nell. Zero. Seven elf? Yeah, 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 that's it. That's it. Zero. Seven elf. You know, if anything happens, sir. Uh, I couldn't, I wouldn't want to hack this job anymore. It's not over yet, Jack. I don't see what else Gregory can do. Meadows. Mickey! Go for in a room in a warehouse. Football match, that's a football we've, match. We've, we've passed a football, a football match and some, and some road works. No, 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 we can't, we can't hear anything anymore. When we pass them, we turn a left and then a right. What, what can we in here? Traffic. And uh, light traffic. It's a Mickey. He's in a warehouse next to a football stadium. You can hear a match going on. We've got a child with them. Get on to the phone company. I have done. Just have a trace any second now. Mickey? Yeah, it's Adam. How many are there with you? 
Are they armed? It's coming from a local transmitter. Yeah, they're right under our noses. United are at home today, so it's probably the industrial estate opposite the stadium. Yeah, hang on a second, Mickey. Jack, stay here and coordinate. Get onto SO19, round up uniform, back up, make sure they know exactly what's at stake. Gina? Yeah, Mickey. Yeah, Mickey, I'm with you. Yeah, what else did you hear? Operating room or intensive care? I don't know. Mrs. Wallace, we need to ask you a few more questions. Would you mind coming through to here? <clears throat> Mrs. Wallace, the body of what we believe is a woman has been recovered from one of the floorboards of 57 Carswell Lane, where your husband used to live. Now, this ties in with a confession he's made. Is there anything you'd like to say? Sarah, we've spoken to the family that bought the house from your husband. They still live there and they remember your husband and who they presume to be his wife. She definitely wasn't Asian. I think that was you, wasn't it? No. We have your husband's confession. No, I don't think for a moment that he thought he would survive, but it's most likely that he will. So it could be your last chance to give your version of what happened. Mickey. Yeah, we're on the industrial estate. I'm going to press the horn, see if you can hear it. No, but I can hear music. I think it's coming from like a car stereo or something. Yeah, uh, just like bass music, a like thumping bass music. What? Music? No. What's going on? Follow that van. Okay, we're looking for we're looking for roadworks, all right? Jack, any news on SO19? Sarah, we're not suggesting for one moment that this woman helped your husband kill Kenita. But maybe, just maybe, through misplaced loyalty, through love, infatuation, whatever it was, maybe she helped cover up the crime. Peter and I, we... His wife was... It's so hard to explain. You see, we... Yeah. We did... Peter's... So 19. No, no, there's no time. Oh. 
Oh, how oh, lovely. Did you like an ice cream? Wrong. Slight change of plan. Do you know, I read about a terrible tragedy recently. This car crashed into this drum of aviation fuel. And all three occupants were burnt beyond recognition. Oh, no, hang on a minute. I made a bit of a mistake there. Because I haven't read about it yet. But I am going to. Ron. We've had this conversation. I know, but you want to make that four? Louis, get the kid, stick her in the boat. You two in the back seat now. Come on. This is madness. We don't need to kill them. Our flights are booked. Everything's sorted. Just get them in on the doors. It's okay. It's all over now. Abduction, false imprisonment and assault. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. She okay? Let's get him back. Yeah, he's all right. I'm done there. He's all done there. Look here. Come. You all right? Yeah, a bit sore, yeah. He's all yours, Jack. <sighs> Where is that, eh? It was almost a bloody disaster. What were you doing, second Robbie? She's not even a copper! I've stood up for you, Mickey, but the superintendent's right. You showed a total lack of trust in or regard for your fellow officers. You got some leave coming up. I want you to take all of it now. Sir? Your heart's in the right place, Mickey. That's why you did what you did. But it's whether Sun Hill's the right place for you. That's what I want you to go away and think about. Oh, I. Millie got you at it again, has she? Give it a rest, Des. It's all muddy. Do you all get enough? See if it's safe with me. Mickey! Mickey! Hey. Are you okay, yeah? Yeah, well, no, apparently. What? Nothing. I just need to get out of here or so Go on, and put my feet up. Right, I just wanted to say, you know, thanks. Hey! Hey, nice one, guys. Nice one. Nice one. You knew all along they were going to kill us, didn't you? Yeah. I'll see you now. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow, right? Yeah. Well, MIT are handling it now. But with Wallace dead and his wife saying nothing. Well, Maisie left it as long as he did. Yeah, five more minutes and we would have gone. Mm. Hi. Uh hi. -huh. <laughs> what? I've walked out. I've left him. Sorry? My husband. There's nothing to stop us. We can be together now. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> Next time Hi, on the bill. You all right, mate? Ugh. You want to accuse me of something, do you? Because if we can't trust each other, what chance have we got out there? For your perversion. He won't go anywhere near you. The place is you. Shut up! Just shut up!